What is up guys? Welcome back to Overspray. So in today's video, this is finally part two of how to paint a hood or basically just like showing you guys the process on how to paint a hood such as this one. So I gotta be honest with you guys, I did start a little bit without you. Sorry, you're gonna have to forgive me, I'm sorry, but it's just things go so much faster without a camera. But anyway, let me show you guys what I just did off camera. And basically all I did was go ahead and, oops. All I did I, was sand this with 600 on the DA with the interface pad, try to get the top uh, section of the hood nice and smooth. And then any little breakthroughs that I found that were down to the metal, uh, I went ahead and just shot a little bit of sealer out of a spray can. You can still see that there's little black, um, black uh, epoxy or e-coat still showing through, but honestly, that's okay. You could still paint over that if you wanted to, or if you're really nitpicky, you can technically just throw a little bit of sealer on it and it should be fine. But remember, that e-coat is basically a sealer, okay? So, you know, you, it, you're just doing yourself a favor by shooting a little bit more sealer on it, but at the same time, it's not gonna hurt it. It's not gonna cause any, any issues if uh, you got a little bit of black through. As long as it's not down to the bare metal, then you should be okay. Um, so anyways, so that's basically all I did off camera. I uh, went ahead and cleaned this off quite a few times, uh, tack ragged it a few times, and now we're starting to get ready for mixing up some base and shooting some base on this. And uh, let's get to it. Alrighty boys, so there's no turning back now. We are finally ready to start putting some base on the hood. Now I went ahead and sanded this down with 600 on all the little spots that I broke through. I went ahead and shot a little bit of sealer on so that it's not bare metal. I have to blow it one more time because as I blew the uh, garage, I still have some trash uh, left over from the, uh, from the roof. So better to land now than when I have uh, my base and my clear coat on. I'd rather just have it now so I can blow it off. No biggie. Uh, first thing usually that I do is uh, water the garage. I used to not do it, uh, but I'm starting to do it a lot more now just because I do notice that a lot of the trash that uh, you know lands on the floor will stay on the floor. And typically, uh, I also started to blow out the garage, uh, the walls, the roof, the floor, everything. Anything I can, tools on top of the toolbox, everything. I blow everything out. And then I let the fan just let it suck everything out and then do it again, probably about two to three times. And then let the air sit, let everything fall to the ground. And then I wet the floor. Okay, that's basically how I do it. And uh, I'm gonna start mixing up some base, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to put base and, well, clear coat as well.
so I waited about a good, I don't know, 20 minutes or so, ready to put some clear on top of this hood. I went ahead and did three coats and then um, I used a, just a little bit of base that I had left and went to any spots that I might have missed and make sure that I got coverage. And uh, that's the most important, okay? So you gotta make sure that you got coverage. If you don't got coverage, don't clear, okay? So let me turn off this fan real quick so you guys can hear me. All right, so uh, what was I gonna say? All right, so at this point, you wanna make sure you have no trash on top of your base, okay? You wanna make sure that any um, defect is addressed right now because once you put that first layer of clear, it's done, all right? You can't go back anymore. So if there's any little bits of trash, if you don't have coverage, if, uh, you know, maybe you could still see a scratch, um, whatever it is, okay, whatever it may be, make sure that it gets taken care of before you put on clear, okay? Because at this point, it's done. You can't go back anymore, okay? The base coat has been laid down. Uh, I'm probably gonna give it another 10 more minutes because I do see some spots that are not dry yet. But for the most part, uh, it's almost there, ready for clear, okay? So we're just gonna go ahead and wait a little bit and, uh, and start to clear. Uh, also, some, some of you guys like to know the settings. So with the Tecna Pro Light, this is what I use for base. I just did a really quick clean with some acetone, uh, but I'll probably go through this a um, little after this video is done to clean out the gun completely. But for this gun, my settings, I usually run this gun about 25 PSI, okay? Um, no more than that. This particular cap says max 26 PSI. Um, that's usually around where I where I run this uh, where I run this gun. Okay. Sometimes I'll go a little bit lower. I'll go down to probably 20 PSI at some sometimes, but for the most part, around 25 PSI is where I like to stay at with the Tecna Pro Light. My settings for my fluid, I turn it all the way in. Okay. And then I turn it two and a half turn, two and a quarter turns. So one, two, uh, let's see, oh, I lost my place now. <laughs> okay, let's see, let's start over. So one, two, and then about a quarter turn, all right? Uh, the most I'll do if I wanna go a little bit heavier is probably about two and a half to two and three quarters uh, a base, okay? You don't want to go super heavy. There are some times where you do want to go a little heavy. Maybe it's too hot outside, wherever you live. But for the most part, that is my settings on the Techno Pro Light. Um, I've had zero issues uh, with those settings. And uh, I think those settings will work great for you as well. Uh, painting at home. So anyways, I'm gonna switch to the uh, SATA 5000 for clear. This is an awesome clear gun. I do have to turn this one in quite a bit, um, but I'll tell you guys my settings after I uh, paint some clear, all right? So let's, uh, let's get to painting.
you guys. So if you follow the step of this video, all the steps, all the tips, your hood should look something like this. I did get a bit of trash, as you guys can tell. I did get a ginormous bug as well. Right there. Not perfect, but this garage paint job is perfectly imperfect. With a little buff, color sand, this thing will look like a piece of glass. Right now it's got about a factory orange peel, I would say. But guys, thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Uh, I gotta go because I'm dying in here but uh, anyway guys hopefully you guys enjoy the video stay spraying catch you guys on the next one peace